Welcome back everybody. So guys in this lecture we're going to talk about the classes. So what is a class? A class is something like data collection in the OOP. I mean, you, what do you want to what do you just want to make in the OOP any object oriented programming? Whatever you want to do with the object oriented programming, you must have some data. You just save the data inside the class. For example, you're building a house and you know you need a lot of things for a house like uh, you, you just need the uh, stones, you need the metal, you need the wood, you need the furniture, you need the different kind of stuff. Uh, so what you'll do, first you'll just collect everything somewhere near to your house or the or the land. But once you just start making the land, what you just do, you don't actually uh, just call for everything. You know, what thing is where. So you just pick that things up or your, uh, you know, labor, pick things up and just place on the, on the land and just make the house. So actually having the things around you, but not in a place, but some kind of, you can say in a go down. So when you just need that thing, you just can place wherever you want. This is called a class. For example, for example, here I'm just creating a human, uh, or you can say uh, a kind of data collection of the human. I'm just describing a human. So all the properties of the human or the uh, the way a human looks, I'm just putting the data of a human inside the class. For example, the human name can be anything here. First of all, because we are just working on PHP, so you know, OOP uh, is actually the thing which we can use in multiple languages, but here we are using it in php so we have to be careful that must open the php tag and then what we are going to do we are just going to make the class first and then we just need to put the curly braces as i put it them so once you just put the curly braces the class the curly braces now we just need to put the other data now as i say that i'm just going to design a human so everything of a human we just need to design here first of all what's a human uh, what we what things we just need to put we need to put the human name and what other things we can put for a human uh, human height human I'm sorry age in other things you also can put like how much fingers he has <laughs> or um, the eye color of a human eye color whatever you think so now actually how we put the things inside the class different kind of data as you know we are just collecting the data of a human so uh, when you're just designing the name uh, the very first element you need to put the dollar sign dollar name and now put the data what is the thing you must be thinking that it's a variable but when you're inside the class it's not a simple variable it is called a property a property of a class so uh, i'm just putting some data uh, the name can be Shazaib Kamel, like my name. So then we just need to put the semicolon and then we just need to go to the next line. And now here in this row, we are just going to make another thing, the height. So height, I'm just putting, it can be 5.8 something. Yeah, I know it's not very big, <laughs> but it's good in its average. So by the way, the age, uh, whatever age we put, we can put here like... 23 okay now go down oh why I'm just making it you know you need to know the basic PHP as you already know about the course that it's not for very basic PHP learners so you need to know the basic PHP so hey I mean you can see that it's 23 and why it's 23 without double or single columns uh, single quotes because uh, it's the integer and integer doesn't have a single or double code so by the way the eye color definitely I have the brown eye color not very uh, honey brown but you can say a dark kind of dark brown well what more we can do we just created a class here so now I think we just understood the basic logic of a class so uh, there are a lot of things we can do yeah one more thing I need to do is uh, making it like that and also yeah we just simply can make this kind of variables outside of a class too but when we are inside the class we need to put something more i'm just putting the uh public yeah we can make any of the element any of the property of the class as public or the private i'm just making it public okay and i'm just making this one is public also we'll be learning about the other stuffs but for now we're just talking about the 
public one so the another public one and then here the public again and it's space now we've made all of them public so now these things can be used outside of the class so i'm just absolutely going to use them but one more thing inside the class we can do do you know the functions in php yeah definitely if you just worked on php the javascript or other languages the functions are a very interesting thing but here the functions are actually called method so the function name can be anything like uh, um, note. This is ultimately the function name. And here I'm putting some data. Value or I can say dollar note value. I'm just making some note here that show some respect okay awesome now what more i just need to do i just need to do go a little down and now how we even can access these things the class how we can access the elements of this class so for that first of all we just need to decide the name for the class too like we just put it the name here for the function for these variables so these uh, which are actually called the property inside the class so now we're just going to decide the name for the class and i'm just going to put the name of the class as person okay the person class and now i'm just gonna i'm just gonna use the person's value the person name is shazab kamel and the person's height is 5.8 and the age is 23 and the eye color is brown and there is some note inside the method which is shows some respect Aha, everyone deserves it by the way here what more i'm just gonna do i'm just simply we just need to make a variable to use that so use or i i can uh, just decide any name here like we're just simply using it inside the var one and in, i mean variable one and there i'm assigning that class the person class to this variable and uh, i'm just telling it the person the class as person or also when we're just calling the person's class so we just need to put this thing the parentheses so right after that we just need to go down and now we are actually can use that but here are we just simply updating the data you know the php the basic rule of the php that when we just call the data anywhere uh, again any variable we just call again so we are actually updating the data we're not updating the data so telling that we're not updating we need to put the new keyword new means we are actually using the data. We are extending. This is actually called, you, you can say, a kind of extending the class. So we are actually not actually uh, just updating the data of the class, but just using the data of this class. So the person's class data is now added here with this var1. And now we can still use the class person's data multiple times in different variables. Like I just make here the var2 and equal to, and now again, I just use the new keyword. Now I here I can use a person. And like that, I'm using the, the same data again. And then, now, we actually want to see what we've did here. So, first of all, we just need to call the variable. I'm just going to call the var1. And then, the interesting part comes, this sign and this sign. What is the mean of these signs? This signs actually... Um, we just need to use when we're just calling the data from the class now because this variable is not an ordinary variable it's became the object it's not an ordinary variable anymore so we are just picking up the data as an object from this class the person's class so what do you actually want to call i just want to call i just want to know the name of the person so n a m e yeah you must be noticing where is the dollar sign and that's the beauty of the class that you actually did not need to use the dollar sign again because it's not the show, it's actually the everything of this person is now added inside the var1. So we're just simply calling the var1 and this sign uh, and there you can see, oh man, and there you can see the name and now what, we, what more we just need to do here, absolutely echoing it. So did we do everything actually fine which we just need to do? So there is only one way to check this. We need to go to the browser and we just need to refresh the page and now there you can see that the name Shazib Kamal. That means it's actually going fine if i just go back there and now you can see that we, we were just calling the name of the shazab uh the person the person's name we was calling this one okay now i'm just going to the next one i'm just echoing another thing the var one and here i'm just calling something like uh, the height okay 
and now you you know what will be the result but here i'm just using another echo just to add some kind of uh, html inside you know html can be embedded anywhere that's a cool thing of the php that it can be embedded also and it can take the html as an embedded language so by the way i'm going there back and there you can see that everything is fine let's just make a unique thing i'm just using the uh, the person name is you know uh, what we do in it basic php we just simply concatenate things by using the concatenation sign which is a period a dot or something like that you, you whatever you say in your uh, mother language so by the way I'm, I'm just using the concatenation sign here and i'm using the uh the war one and there the name the person name is Shazeb Kamal ultimately because it is the Shazeb Kamal. Okay. Then I'm using another point and then here, you know, I'm just putting the data inside the uh the double quotes here. Okay. And there I'm just putting the and his eye color is here the concatenation sign again here i'm using the var2 what is the mean of the var2 i'm just showing you that it actually can work okay uh, you know you've assigned the same thing because you use the new so you assign the uh, the person's data to the var1 and you just assign the same thing to the var2 so when you just call the var2 ultimately you'll have the same thing because you're just calling the same class because the var2 and a var1 is nothing it's everything whatever the person's class has because we're just getting the data from the person's class that is the class okay now here I'm just using the eye color save it now we just need to go to the browser back there and just need to refresh that now you can see that the person's name is Chazi Kamal and his eye color is brown that's cool it sounds like uh, someone is giving my data to the top secret agency to get me up by the way so uh, this is how the class works I hope you've understood that completely but one thing not to be mentioned that it's just in the start so you'll be understanding a lot of things you'll be learning a lot of things about the OOP because this is just a basic thing we'll be making a kind of a basic very simple project in its uh, section of the OOP then ultimately in the next lectures uh, the uh, Jay Wade will be taking you on the Laravel hopefully you'll be learning and enjoying things good luck